You ready? No, maybe in half an hour. Fashion, it changes a lot as you're growing up. And I feel like it, like the different time periods of when you had like different fashion sense, I feel like it reflects on that whole period of time. Like I remember like what my fashion sense used to be like. And then when I think of my fashion like that, I literally think of that whole like, period of my life. Fashion, you know, it can kind of be tied up in like who you are. It's a way of expressing like your identity. So I think my style is quite like different because I'll buy stuff and then my family will be like, oh, what is that? But I guess sometimes they like it, sometimes they don't, but I just wear it anyway. And I think that's how you like, express yourself and that's why I love fashion, I guess. <laughs> I love uh, business. I love ideas. I love creativity. So I'm kind of always throwing out ideas like to the family or to friends and stuff. We started saying like, oh, imagine if we did our own clothing line. We would sit around the dinner table and talk about it. And the more we spoke about it, the more excited we got about it. Joel doesn't buy clothes for the girls. It'd be me that buys for them, especially when it's like birthdays and Christmas. So he likes to, when we find like a problem, he will always find the solution. So I think when I've come to him and said, oh, it's a nightmare, what do I buy the girls for their birthday? And, or Grace wants this, but she's not gonna fit in it. He then was like, okay, like what about if we do our own brand? And it was kind of like, yeah, that's a cool idea. I don't exactly remember the first time we had the conversation about starting like our own clothing line. I mean, it's like a vivid memory, but I remember like when the idea was just kind of get thrown around. I was kind of thought, why, why would we have a clothing line? But now we actually like done it. It's so like cool to see it. It's also nice because it's been with our family. So I feel like we all had like our own individual say on it and there's been so much like creative freedom of it. Obviously being a busy mum, it was a great idea. Wasn't sure it was going to take off. Wasn't sure it's was actually going to be a thing. Um, and then we started discussing it more as a family. I love the thought of being able to say, here's an idea. We can take this idea and make it into a reality and we can also do it as a family. Like that's what really excited me about this brand. So we literally put our heart and soul into the design of these clothes. In creating Devu, the attention to detail was almost too much. I think what's really important is like the quality. The fit has to just be perfect. The quality has to be spot on. Like we don't want to cut any corners. We don't want to do anything cheap. I know that I'm a very fussy person. So like when I'm buying clothes online, it's so genuinely difficult because I feel like there's always something wrong with it. So I feel like for me, it was like to get it perfect. We just wanted to picture someone being like, wow, like I'm so happy I bought this product. And that's a hundred percent what we've done. Like I fully believe that. So some of my favorite pieces, I really like this green hoodie because it's like, we get to design it, so we make it like our perfect hoodie. Like we get a drop shoulder, double logo, like my favorite color. So like you literally just get to design everything of it. This jumper is like definitely one of my. Well, they're all like the same style, but this like this color and everything is my favorite. And you can obviously see we have the double like branding, which I thought was like one of my favorite parts because it makes the brand so much more unique. And I definitely don't own a jumper that's like double branded. Um, and then literally everything's just perfect. Like we have the drop shoulders, make it oversized. Um, but then also it doesn't make the sleeves too long because sometimes if you get oversized, it just looks too big for you. But I feel like this is the perfect oversize. Um, everything about it, that like, genuinely so comfy, that it's a thick material. And yeah, I love it so much. What are you doing? I'm, I'm filming a video. You wanna come and see? What? You wanna come and say hi? What's that? That's a light. That's a light and that's the camera. Can you say hi? Coco, Coco, hey. when you're an adult, what are you going to do? What's your job? What's your job going to be when you're an adult? I work at the toy shop. She wants to work at the toy shop? She wants to drive her own car and she's going go to go drive to the toy shop. That's what she's going to work. Awesome. <laughs> that sounds like a fun job. I can't drive. Not yet you can't. Okay, so you can. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> we had a name for the clothing line which involved the name Coco. I feel like we all came like, to the conclusion that we liked. We loved the name Coco. So obviously it's after Chloe. We got all the clothes sampled in the name and 
we sent off the application for the trademark. There was no other name like this. We'd searched everywhere. And then nine, 10 weeks into the application process, we had an email from Coco Chanel saying, we don't want you to use that name because we feel like it's kind of infringing on our trademark. And that was honestly just so devastating to us. <laughs> like, it felt like a huge letdown because I was genuinely so excited for the brand to be called that and I genuinely loved the name. And then in my head I was thinking, I literally can't think of any other good names. It took weeks like, to think of a new name and we were going through like what means, because we wanted something that meant something to us as a family. We didn't want to just find a name, you know, for, for anything. It had to connect with us as a family. We have four kids. Naming our four kids was so much easier than naming this brand. My dad get like, got like a huge list of different names. I feel like I went through every word in the dictionary. I would spend hours on Google. And then one day, um, we'd, we, Casey had said it so many times, but it was just like this one time, it like kind of just stuck in our mind. And she started saying about like, we were sat at the dinner table um, all together. And she said, do you know that one day, like you're gonna look back and this will be a memory. I always used to take pictures of everything and all my friends would be like, they'd kind of mock me for it, like, oh, you always take pictures of everything and videos and whatever, but I'm like, but I want to look back on it because I just know that this will be like a memory and it's something I want to look back on. I want to have all these pictures and videos and everything. She started living and telling us that she lives in the moment, aware that it's going to be a memory that she can look back on. And then I came across the phrase day vu and I'd never ever heard of this phrase before. I'd never seen it or anything. And I looked at the meaning of it and I was like, hold on a second. The awareness that this will become a memory is something that Casey says all the time. Obviously finding the name day vu literally fit that like perfectly. Looking back now, I'm so glad that we got the other name rejected because otherwise we wouldn't have the name that we have now. Devu, that is the name for the brand and it fits so well. Obviously the main, main purpose of today is to make sure we're fully prepared for the photo shoot. Only I can read this handwriting. I think the more decisions we make today, yeah. the less we have to make yeah, on the yeah, day of the yeah. photo shoot. Food. Food, okay. Yeah. <laughs> As in, we're not pregnant <laughs> No, because I said I'll help make sure I've got pregnant like, like, or not. Do you want to like prioritise food for the day? Or <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, you do not want me as a model, so I will then just be eating. <laughs> Let's just move on, okay? Let's not talk about that. This is the first time we've all seen the whole collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With, um, yeah. yeah. This is like a momentous moment of like, Kind of tight. Oh, 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 oh my oh. god! Wow. Oh, that's so nice. That is really nice. Oh my god. <gasps> Love it. I feel like there's stuff missing. Oh my god. We count them. One, two, three, four. Wait, these are all small. Oh no, they're only small in here. There's definitely been some stressful moments in building the clothing line. It's been a lot of fun. There's been a lot of stress, like on the day of the fitting. We literally only had that day to do the fitting and we literally the photo shoot was a few days later and all of a sudden the clothes hadn't turned up in their entirety. So we were missing pieces of clothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, But you counted eight, the white nine, skirt. Seven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. No, I didn't. 21. We're missing something. It's the skirt. We don't have the skirt. Yeah, the, skirt. the delivery people said that there's still seven extra small pieces stuck at Heathrow. At Custom? Yeah. Oh my god. When's it say they're coming? Friday. No. And the stress was just unbelievable because it was like, we didn't have another option. We had the whole photo shoot booked, paid for, and we couldn't not have the clothes. There's literally a chance that we're not gonna have everything. And the fact that it's only shoot. Grace that can try this on and wear this, so. And it's all, yes. This is the only time that Grace would have actually been able to try everything on in her size. All the summers have always been Casey's size. Mm -hmm. So any fix, so then everything that isn't extra small, let's give to Grace to try on. If we don't have it in for the photo shoot, oh, of course how not. is she gonna? 
We it's literally, f what day is it today? Thursday? Thursday. So tomorrow. So okay. literally, if it doesn't come tomorrow, it won't, it won't come for the photo shoot. Got hope for the best. Manifest. Yeah. Hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> we need to figure out what we're going to drop with what and when. So. Yeah. I definitely think that we should start with the lighter colours. We need to lead with our absolute strongest pieces. Yeah. Like we can't drop with shorts and t-shirts. No, that's definitely our... So we need to basically yeah. say, what is our absolute, like, if we were only going to drop two tracksuits ever, what would we drop? Because that's our first, that's everyone's first impression of the brand. Yeah, okay. So, buttercream, obviously. Yes. Yeah. I was going to say buttercream, and I love the green. What about those two for the first? Yeah. Drop yeah. one, yeah? Yeah. Does everyone agree? Yeah. 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 Could you do the black side for shorts with the leggings? And then the grey satin shorts with the grey shorts and a different drop. I feel like this should go with this because it goes with the jumpers. Mm, yeah. But I think that oversized hoodies look really nice with them shorts. Yeah. And also these shorts aren't ones you have to wear out. They're house shorts. No, they're house well. shorts, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Oh wow. Another green or another yellow? Buttercream. I would, I would add another green. green yeah, yeah, I think green because yeah. then the buttercream is the statement. It, it, it would look yeah. so good to yeah. have Cause that Grace, like, Casey, and Ava. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because like, you all have completely different looks. Yeah. That hair. No, guys, not the guys, 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 guys. Is that guys? It might be. Oh. Uh, oh, it might be. Where's the scissors? It must be. It's the same box in it. Yeah, 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 it's the same colour cardboard as the other one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my yes. God. Yes. 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 That's perfect timing. Why did you tell us it was Friday then, you liar? Well, I thought it was Friday. Literally, as we're doing the fitting, the door knocks and there is the rest of the clothes. So, which was just, yeah. As much as it was stressful, then that was like the best feeling, getting all the clothes. Now the yes! The skirt! The skirt! Amazing. Awesome! Let's wait for you! It's stunning on you. Why didn't huh? you put up for the shoe instead? Uh, well, no one asked me. Just ask. <laughs> I'm waiting for the invitation. The skirt. Ah, okay. Oh, this is your favourite one here. Uh, I'm going to get a little one instead. Okay. Have you got a little one? Oh, oh I didn't get. I didn't make any little ones. Should we make a little one just for you? Yeah. And a big one just for mummy. Oh wow! <laughs> In the beginning, it was me, Sarah, Casey, Grace, and my PA Ellie working on the brand. We didn't know anything about building a fashion line. We we knew what we wanted to achieve, but we kind of needed some help. So I got put in touch with a guy called Fez who is now our designer and he's just been incredible and then more recently we've had honey join the team and we've also got holly who's involved obviously leading up to the photo shoot we had to think about location we had to think about models we knew obviously we had to have casey and grace in it because they've been a huge part obviously of it all and it just made sense that they were the models remember me and sarah sitting there thinking Hold on a second. Honey would be incredible on the shoot. Holly would be amazing on the shoot. Ava, Casey Grace, we're like, we literally have five models right in front of us who have all been in some way or another involved in the actual building of the brand. We're like, if this works, this will be insane. I feel like the photo shoot was such like an amazing experience and genuinely like one of the best days of my life. I know, I roll, 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 no dread, this a river, I roll, 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 no dread, I roll, 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 no dread. Seeing the models coming out on the clothes, it literally was just, that's where the buzz came from. <laughs> just like wow this thing is coming together it all of a sudden just felt so real 
So I loved that, like the whole thing wasn't serious, that like, everyone was just joking around and it was such a good atmosphere. <laughs> we met the photographer for the first time. He was incredible, such a talented photographer. They were all so supportive and I was so, so proud to see them. Giving each other confidence, if, if somebody didn't feel quite right, like they were just a little bit nervous, then they'd be like, no, come on, you're going to smash this, you look beautiful. Just relax, just take your shots, and then we'll tell you Before you hold my hand. I was so nervous, I was like, I'm holding your hand. I was like, I literally can't do it, I want to back out. You look so natural. Nice, nice, nice. nervousness, then them going out there, taking pictures, and then seeing the pictures, and seeing the confidence, yeah, yeah. and their eyes light up and go, wow, it looks so good. Yeah. That's all for everyone, everyone the last. And into one go. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. <Dance. laughs> it's a shot. Yeah, Pretty yeah big. That, I love that. Yeah. Oh, that's so, so nice. Yeah. Yeah. My face is going to hurt from smiling. I'm going to just walk around like, so oh, good. Cool. Hearing Casey say to Grace, because um, Grace had just had her hair done, like Casey standing up and saying to her, "Yes, Grace, that like, your hair is a power move." One thing that like almost caught me by surprise was like seeing Grace on the shoot. She is very anxious about things, but like just seeing her like go out there, and like she wasn't ever like proper nervous where it's kind of held her back, like. And just seeing that like, the pictures that like, they genuinely came out amazing, she looked so good. We were looking at the laptop and we were just going, like, I'm, I literally get goosebumps when I think about it. We were looking at it and going, wow, not only do they look incredible, the clothes look unbelievable. When you see the pictures, you're like, oh my gosh, you get like a big adrenaline, like, like everyone looks so good in the clothes. And I think that was like one of my highlights of the whole like process of it. I literally cannot believe how fantastic and amazing everyone looks. Like they look incredible and the clothes just look like so good. I just can't even explain how amazing they look. There was so much like time and effort that went into it and it shows in the clothing like, 100% the fit. Like I feel like I couldn't have thought of a better team to be working with because I feel like everyone just brought something different to the shoot. It's been so good seeing the creative side of everybody and everybody come together. So I was actually initially looking for the models, which is funny because now I am a model for the brand. But coming and working with the girls has been so much fun. It's been a good day, been busy, been tired. Yeah, and that's uh, what it is. It's been good. I was thinking, this is day vu. This is like literally the awareness that right now, what we're doing here, what we're creating, this will become a memory for our whole entire lives that we can look back on. I'm very proud of, like I've said, my, my team and my family, but I'm most proud of Joel because this was a dream but with us as a family. And if it wasn't for Joel, it wouldn't actually be here. And I know he doesn't like to take the credit for it, but actually he got the ball rolling. He's the one that got the meetings going, so if it, if, it, if it wasn't for him, then this genuinely wouldn't be here. So he has made our dream as a family come, come and I'm so proud of him. So. <laughs> oh, you're going to make me emotional. <laughs> I know, I felt emotional mind. then. Like, I did actually feel quite emotional, because I am. I'm really proud of you, so yeah. So. <laughs> hey guys, we've only got half an hour, so we really, really need to like, hurry this up. I don't actually have time for this. <laughs> That's where Sarah really comes into her own because she's like, she's very good at kind of like, you over here, you over there, you need to be wearing this, we don't have time for any of this stuff. Okay, uh, honey and honey with the hats. Okay. And then we have a photo. Yay, cute. Oh, that's, I like that one, I like that one. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's cute. She's very good at taking the lead on that stuff and being like, right, I'm the boss, this is what's going on. Just You're saying. not the boss. I just said in that moment, no, you stepped up to being the boss. I heard, I heard it here. So 
Go and get the go and get the door, boss. That's it. Literally, that's it. That's a wrap. <laughs> Everyone has literally smashed it out of the park. Like, I'm yeah. so proud of everything. We're done. Like we've actually achieved it. Like everything went smoothly. I can't believe I'm even saying that. The real challenge of this whole thing is seeing if we can sell these clothes. If people actually want to buy them, which I genuinely believe they will. But that is going to be the biggest part of this whole journey. Is when we go live on the website and we see if all the hard work we've put in has been able to come across to everyone and that they actually then want to buy the clothes. That is the scariest part of this, and that's the next step. Finally, after working on this thing for a year, we can finally announce to our followers what we've been doing. And the response on social media just blew me away. He's very n nervous, like nerve-wracking, nerve-wracking? Like the first time, because you don't know what anyone's response is gonna be. Like, there's always that slight concern that everyone's gonna hate the clothes. But then like seeing like our DMs like flooded with like such nice messages. So obviously we finally announced it and like everyone's buzzing. Everyone's like, oh I want this, I want that. And now it's like there's only a few days until the launch and I'm so excited. We're just waiting for the clothes to arrive. Actually, sorry, I've actually just had the email to say that the clothes are coming tomorrow by the end of day. Oh wow. So exciting. Oh my god. Sarah hates me for this, but I wanted to get the clothes shipped to the house and I want to pick and pack and send out every single order ourselves for the first collection. I did not know until after we did the shoe, I think like the next day or that night, that my dad had ordered that for all the clothes to come here and for us to package it up and actually ship it ourselves. And I mean, I, I get the idea of it, like, because obviously it's nice to have that memory. Again, they do. <laughs> Um, it's nice to have the memory of it, but then also I think it's going to be so stressful. It's going to be mad, it's going to be crazy, but for me I thought it was really important as like part of our journey and our story for ourselves and for the brand. And we can look back on it and be proud that we did everything ourselves. So if I go missing, then know that Sarah literally, <laughs> she killed me when all the boxes turned up. You're in the boxes. Yeah, I'm in the boxes. <laughs> I believe in the product. But, but because I've seen it, I've seen our clothes, I've, I've felt them and I've seen the girls in them personally. So for me, I know they're amazing, but I'm actually quite nervous because you, you just don't know. You don't know if anyone's going to buy them. You don't know how well they're going to do. Um, I'm going to have faith and I'm, because I obviously believe in what we're selling and why we're selling it. I genuinely believe that we're going to sell out those clothes on the launch night. I genuinely, genuinely think that because I believe so much in what we've done and what we've built. But, of course, we just have to wait and see what happens on launch day. I am, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that I think it's gonna sell out and you're all just gonna absolutely love it. <laughs> yeah, I do, I think we're gonna sell out, even though that doesn't sound very humble. <laughs> It doesn't feel like a job, it feels like, well it's not really a job, it's passion. <laughs>